Imagine a world where a new measuring instrument has appeared, leaving the good old traditional ruler and the measuring tape to inventions of the past. Professor Kippenberg is working on frequency combs. It's about using a laser beam of a multitude of tiny luminous spikes, which are separated at regular intervals, like the teeth of a comb. This instrument can carry out measurements at an infinitely tiny scale or at an infinitely large one, allowing, for example, to improve the search for exoplanets. In this laboratory, we are studying optical microresonators. What are optical microresonators? Our optical microresonator consists of a piece of glass that is just 30 micron in diameter. 30 micron is a tenth of the diameter of a human hair. What is interesting about the microresonator is that it allows us to confine light for almost one microsecond. Now you may think that one microsecond is very short, but in fact one microsecond for light is a long time. In fact, in one microsecond, light almost travels 200 meters inside the glass microresonator. And this implies that the light is almost making one million round trips around the circumference of this microscale microresonator. With these microresonators, you can study fascinating physical phenomena. Donc nous, les physiciens, ce qui nous a toujours intéressés, c'est d'être capable de mesurer des choses. Donc des petites As choses physicists, something that's always intrigued us is to be able to measure things, things small things, like the Donc size of molecules, or big things, like the size of planets. For nous, that, we're going to need a ruler, same as at school. Optique. But here Et we donc, use a new optical ruler, which is called a frequency comb. Un peine de fréquence, il est obtenu à partir d'un laser. A frequency comb is obtained from a laser, a color, and this color will break down in the form of teeth. Each tooth is positioned at the same distance from its neighbor. The whole forms a frequency comb. Distance, et donc l'ensemble formant un peine de fréquence. We can then use it to go and compare it with the chemical signature of the exoplanet, and to discover its presence in the universe et donc de découvrir sa présence dans l'univers. The research of Professor Kippenberg will revolutionize the level of precision achieved up until now in many fields and will open the way to even more detailed and accurate systems of measurement.